welcome to Chris Cook for you too. When it's warm outside and you really don't feel like doing all that fussing over your stove, I have the perfect dish for you. We're going to make a salad and turn it into a meal. The only thing you're going to need to complete this dish is just some bread and butter. Butter your bread and that's it. You can use your favorite brand of bread, whether it be a baguette or it be some crusty bread, whatever it is that you like, that's what you can serve. Now we're going to take this salad and we're going to make it into a meal with these ingredients. This is called a bow tie pasta salad. And here are the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need a cucumber, zucchini, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, salt and pepper to taste. You're going to need broccoli and cauliflower mix. This is just a 12 ounce package of broccoli and cauliflower mix. You don't need a whole head of either, so this will be fine. You're going to need one red onion, and you can get a smaller onion. I have a bigger one. I'm not going to use all of that onion. You're going to need Italian seasoning mix, and this is dried Italian seasoning mix. Mix. This is sold in your local Walmart store. You're going to need from Farley uh, pasta. This is your bow tie pasta. Comes in a box. We probably won't use all of this. We may use half of it. I may use all of it. Don't know yet. You're going to need Italian dressing. Now, the reason why we're using Italian dressing is, as you can see, I'm using Wishbone, which is the same brand as the dried seasoning. Because this is normally made with vinegar and oil. I'm not a fan of vinegar and oil, so I just chose to use the Italian dressing. And I did get the same type of dressing as the dried dressing mix because those will blend well together. And I have a chicken just a roasted chicken from Walmart that I picked up and that's how we're going to turn this into a meal. We're going to take this chicken and we're going to add it to everything else and we're going to turn it into a meal. Now, you do the prep on this four to six hours before you actually serve this salad because you want all of these seasonings from the Italian seasoning mix to marinate well over your vegetables. Now, the trick here, and I want to show you this, these four vegetables you wash, but you do not dry, okay? So your cucumber, your zucchini, your red bell pepper, and your green bell pepper, you're going to wash them, but you're not going to dry them. Then you're going to go ahead and chop them up. This vegetable, you will dry. You'll just put it on a paper towel and you'll dry it, okay? And then you'll toss it in with the salad. So I'm going to go away, get all of these ingredients all chopped up. Then I'm going to come back show you how to toss it, put it in the refrigerator for four to six hours. Really, I'm going to serve it tomorrow. So four to six hours or 24 hours. I'm going to serve it tomorrow. So I'll show you this part of it today. Then I'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you the rest of it. So let's get started. Be right back. Okay, now we're back. So we're going to mix all of the ingredients. Here I have the broccoli. And I want to explain something about the broccoli and the cauliflower. The reason why I told you to rinse these and it was not necessary to dry them is because water cannot hide in these particular vegetables. I'm talking about the peppers, the zucchini, and the uh, cucumbers because they have a shell. But water can hide in the cauliflower and the broccoli because of the way that it's made. So I told you to pat dry those with a paper towel or put them in your strainer and just leave them until they totally dry. Now I'm going to add this because I know somebody will write me and say well why did you do this and why did you do that? So that explains that. And I'm going to add the cauliflower and the broccoli and see what I did was after I cut the florets in half, I cut them in half maybe about six times. So I just kept cutting them in half so I would get small pieces you don't want. This is not a salad that you or a dish that you would have big pieces. Here is my chopped red pepper, red bell pepper, and my green bell pepper. Now, these, um, the items that I'm putting in today, they will not break down, including the cucumbers, which means tomorrow when you get ready or six hours later when you get ready to actually serve this salad or serve this dish, it will not have mush uh, cucumbers in it because these particular items will not break down. So you'll still have that crunch. So I did the same thing. I just cut. And with my cucumbers, I normally don't cut off all of the hull. I do cut off some of it, but then I leave some because I like the way it looks. There's one where you can see part of the 
cucumber that was peeled and then part that I did not peel. But you can go ahead and peel yours. It's just a personal preference and that's just the way I do it. Now I'm going to add the zucchini. And I hand chop that the same way. You know, and these are just small chops. And if you can see, if you look in the bowl, it's a colorful salad. Very colorful. And then I'm going to add the red onions. Now, why am I adding the red onions today? Because red onions will not give off that strong odor that you get when you add your, if say if it was just a plain yellow onion or a... Um, one of those big Bermuda onions, then you would get um, a stronger taste of onion. In this salad, you will not have that because we're using red onions. Now, the three ingredients that I will not add today is I will not add the Italian dressing, I will not add the bow tie pasta, and I will not add the chicken. I'm going to dice that up and I'll put this in the salad when I get ready to serve it. Like I said, you don't have to do this overnight. You can do this four to six hours in advance. Give it at least four hours in order for the seasonings that I'm getting ready to shake on. And this is the dried seasonings. In order for the seasonings to just marinate all over your vegetables, you want to give it that length of time. This is a very good salad. I think you're going to enjoy it. Now, in this packet comes two, uh, two of the Italian season mix. And the reason why I'm using Wishbone again, I'll tell you, is because I like Wishbone. I like Wishbone because it's a sweeter Italian. So I went with the Wishbone dried as well as the Wishbone liquid. But they do have it by Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley makes the dried and the liquid. If your choice is Hidden Valley, then go with Hidden Valley. If your choice is this, go with this. Or just use them both together if that's all you can find. Okay, there it is. Now, I'm going to wait four to six hours. In my case, I'm going to wait overnight before I get ready to actually put in my chicken and put in my uh, dressing. And what you can do is you can do this the night before or you can do it before you go to work or before you have an outing and then come back. All you have to do is dice up your chicken and put it in and you got a great salad. Now, I also did not salt and pepper it because you will salt and pepper to taste. To taste. So I'm going to cover this with some saran wrap, put it in my refrigerator, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, now we're back, and it's a different day. It's tomorrow. And really, this salad has been sitting maybe about 35 hours, so maybe about a day, and then maybe about 5, 6 hours over, something like that, maybe 10 hours, I don't know. Anyway, I told you I covered it with saran wrap, and then I put it in the refrigerator. So here it is now. Now you're going to add your chicken. And I cubed up my chicken. I had that roasted chicken, remember? And I just cubed it up. And you don't need to use roasted chicken. You can use uh, chicken that you, you know, roast yourself instead of just going to uh, Walmart and getting it. Or chicken that you have left over. You can use that. Or you can just be, um, I mean, you can take it to another level and you can put in some... Uh, shrimp if that's what you choose to as long as you make it a meal now I've incorporated the uh, chicken now I'm going to incorporate my farfalle uh, pasta and really I like to call it bow tie so that's what I'm going to call it I'm going to put that in and I'm going to stir it and this is roughly about a half of a box of pasta that I'm putting down over in the salad. Now, this salad, you can make it your own. Really, it's a salad turned meal. You can make this your own. And how I'm going to make it my own is because I'm going to add, these are some cherry tomatoes, and what I did was I just quartered the cherry tomatoes, so I'm going to add them. Now, you don't have to do that because this salad does not call for that, but I love tomatoes, so... I'm going to add them in. I'm going to toss everything up together. And then I'm going to add my salad dressing. And I told you I was using Italian by Wishbone. And this, just, this is just the original. This is no special blend. If you want to use a special blend, you can. Now, this should be a cup full. And I'm going to run a little bit short on a cup full. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another bottle 
and I'm going to pour, remember to shake it well, and I did shake it before we started, and I'm going to pour some of that over in to get my one cup full. Now, if that is not enough for you, you can always go back and add some more dressing, okay? Now, I've turned this into a meal. I have my pasta, my chicken, my vegetables, all of this all in one. And this is what you do when you really don't feel like cooking a major meal. Now, I'm going to go ahead and serve it. Now, you can wait about four or five minutes if you need for your uh, pasta to just get all the flavors of the dressing that you've just put on it. Just a little bit more greenery up there. Okay. There you go. Now, I'm going to sit this plate down. I'm going to add some buttered bread to it. That's your meal, and that's your dinner. Only thing you need is salt and pepper to taste. Now, it seems like it was a long process because it was overnight, but really it really wasn't because all we did was just mix up our vegetables, add our dried seasonings yesterday, and then today we just went ahead and tossed it with our pasta and our salad dressing and that and added our chicken to it. That was real, real simple, real, real good on a hot day. I think it would be great, okay? Just wanted to come and show you how to turn the salad into a meal. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you too. Bye.